Hello, hello, it's me again. This is Cindy with Love to Scrap for Fun. Um, this is a custom horse lover junk journal that I just created for someone. And I wanted to have a, a video of it um, before I listed it for her. Um, this is a, a nine by six by um, two and three quarter, or it might be three inch spine, but it has an, a really nice upholstery fabric cover that's zigzagged machine stitched around the perimeters, like the other um, horse junk journal that I did the previous one. It has some denim fabric with um, some burlap on the sides and, and beautiful image of a spotted horse. And this is a bracelet, a braided bracelet that my daughter had made that I put as an accent with the eye, metal eyelet there. Um, there's a pocket behind it, just like the other one with the same two journal tags. This has a button sewn with a piece of canvas. This has a metal eyelet, it's like a copper color with some jute for the tie. It has the, the horse library pocket, pretty nifty, very vintage. And um, the lining is um, really nice uh, scrapbook card stock that's kind of like wallpaper. And it's, um, got the Western look to it. And these are the same digital um, download pages that I had purchased off of Etsy with the, it was the horse level lover uh, digital pack. And I did these on some res, um, off white resume paper. So they have a really nice texture. There's another image. There's some tea dyed papers and some stamping and stenciling. It's more scrapbook cardstock with the pocket with the uh, paper, altered paper clip and the ephemera that I did with the kit. Added a guest check there. And I love this little retro cowgirl here that I glued there on the pocket. Some graph paper. And it's all edge stitched. I mean, it's all edge inked. I inked all the edges with uh, Tim Holtz vintage photo ink. And this is a color page that has a horse. And I made a belly band, the journal card and a burlap pocket with a tag and this adorable little envelope that comes with the kit that I um, backed this up on some cardstock, this journal card. And just slips under this little tag to keep it nice and secure. And there's that cute little retro cowgirl. And there are some ruffled denim fabric tabs with zigzag stitching on top. There's an altered paper clip. And a horse image that I glued on there and some of the notebook paper. And this is done with a couple of horse calendar pages that I made into side pocket. There are four signatures done with white crochet thread as the signature ties. This one has some, some old phone call message papers in this side pocket. There's 
there is a fabric flip and I adhered some cardstock there to, to keep it from crumbling up. And here is the uh, little mini uh, junk journal that I did from a manila envelope. But I added a, a button and an image on top of burlap. And there's the signature in here I tied into it. The little burlap pocket on the inside front cover and a tag and a journal card. Some scrap papers. There's paper doily with holds a little tag. And this has a little index card with a tab on it. And some scraps of tea tea dyed statements. Some pages out of an app, blank pages out of an address book. And there's this index card with the tab. And that slips right into there. Some trim that I glued on the side of the other side of the calendar page. That's the bottom part of the horse. And the graph paper. And a little tuck here with some tickets and a little tag. Place to journal. Tea dad papers. There's a horse image on this one on the resume paper. There's room for writing, journaling, and there's those gorgeous pages from the kit. Tea dyed papers, stamping of some horse stamps and stenciling. Here's a little flip out with some places to write on on some paper and a little tuck with some more a tag and a couple of tickets and a coupons a little pocket there and a pocket back here with some more ephemera upper corner pocket with some more ephemera from this beautiful Horse Lover Kit, and this is a collage paper, lined paper. Here's a side pocket of calendar page that's in the middle of the second signature. Lined paper, and there's the other side of the collage page, upper right corner tuck, the postcard and a journal card. Some lined paper, cardstock, a digital image, tea dyed papers, another digital images, gorgeous, gorgeous paper. It's so pretty. And here's some the botanical stationery that I included in here. Stamped image, beautiful horse paper. There's some children's writing paper. Some cardstock that I machine stitched around. Here's a side pocket with a couple of large index cards. It says horse lover and wild and free. You go in the side pocket here. And the top has the, the horse um, paper from a, a list tablet. I put a bunch of those in here, just like I did on the other one. Now, if I could get those back in there on camera, I'd be doing good. I don't know. Okay. And here's a little pocket here, the key, little coupon and a little 
little journal card. Vintage, very vintage, more papers. More ephemera. Super cool. Retro. I love this postcard. So cool. And denim tag tab. Ruffled denim tab. And this is a little notebook from scratch paper. The text behind here. Another journal card. And this is the fold out that you can put photos on or you could do some hidden journaling. And I lost that paper clip. Where'd it go? I'll find it later. And here is um, the middle of this is uh, from a book I have. And here is a fabric, another fabric flip up. And this one has a metal eyelet with a little string to give it some pizzazz. And there's a pocket with a tag and a journal card. Fun stuff. Fun, fun. And the stenciling I used in the horse journal, it's the burlap one from T Tim Holtz. So it looks like burlap. Some more ephemera, cute little cowgirls. And a baggage claim tag. More papers. Side pocket here with the postcard with that cute little retro cowgirl and this cute little retro cowgirl paper doll and a tag and some more papers journaling spots and those beautiful images so cool. I love them. I love horses. There's another little tuck right here with some more ephemera. These are all backed on thick cardstock. This is just a little notebook. There's a bunch of ledger paper lined paper. Here's a altered paper clip. There is an image on there. You could kind of see it. And then I, I made a mistake under there. And when I was gluing it, I made a little hole. So what did I, you can't even tell because I glued a piece of ruffled denim fabric on top of it and just made it even cuter. That's the the joy of making junk journals. You can cover up your mistakes and nobody would ever know. There's a cute guest check and this is an envelope with a journal card inside. It's all edge inked to give the aged look. Really cool film strip there. And this I did on a index card. So it has some lines for journaling. And the little pocket right here holds some smaller ephemera. All horse themed. And this is um, the book page. This one has some horses carrying some buggies. Um, shiny black buggies in Ohio's Holmes County. And here's some tags held in these little pockets that's from an envelope that folds out like this. It's got a couple of journal cards in this cute, adorable little pocket here. 
And inside here, we got some index cards with some cool tabs. And just slips in there. Then you got this image right here of this rodeo girl or circus or whatever. On, and I backed it on some burlap. Some more writing spots, some larger paper, another pocket with another tag and a postcard. Stamping tea dyed papers and the digital image that I printed out onto resume paper. And the back cover has a belly band. Back, this is on burlap with a little tag there with a couple of black mini brads. And there is a wax seal. And this is the envelope with some stationery. Beautiful stationery. It's a beautiful scene. And that is it, folks. Tuck that right back in there. And it has a coffee dyed tie made from some fabric. And gorgeous, gorgeous, and I'm so happy that um, this beautiful journal has a home. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.